हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एन इशू व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन सेक्शन 43 बी सेक्शन 43 बी टॉक्स अबाउट सर्टेन डिडक्शंस व्हिच आर अलाउड टू द एसएससी ओनली ऑन एक्चुअल पेमेंट इवन इफ द एसएससी इज फॉलोइंग द अक्रूअल सिस्टम ऑफ अकाउंटिंग द पर्पस ऑफ सेक्शन 43 बी इज दैट the government wants that certain payments to be made in time the government wants that the assessee should be allowed the deduction only when these payments are made and the early realization of the payments by the assessee can be given to the various type of persons in the present case the assessee has to pay the electricity duty to the state government and at the same time the assessee has to receive some amount from the state government and that electricity duty payable was adjusted against the amount receivable so the very limited issue before the learned assessing officer in the in this case was that whether this adjustment is a constructive payment eligible to deduction under section 43b this matter has been decided by honorable supreme court on 12th september 2012 although this case has been reported in in a very recent itr that is 465 itr at page number 798 and this and the title of the case is gujarat urja vikas nigam limited versus commissioner of income tax as i told you that in the present case the assessee didn't actually paid the electricity duty payable because of the simple reason that it has to receive some amount from the state government so electricity duty payable was adjusted with that amount receivable when the assessment proceedings was going on the learned assessing officer was of the view that this is not uh, payment as per section 43b so the assessing officer did not allow the deduction of this adjusted electricity duty payable when this matter be was before the tribunal the tribunal gave the relief to the assessee and uh, when the revenue moved to the high court the high court reversed the order of the tribunal by relying on the judgment of commissioner of income tax versus ahmedabad electricity company limited which is reported in 262 itr at page number 97 so the assessee has to move to the supreme court when the supreme court heard the whole matter the supreme court was of the view that in the present case there is no doubt that the assessee should get the benefit of section 43b but at the same time the supreme court observed that in the present case the assessee has not produced the evidence of the adjustment of the electricity duty payable with the amount receivable from the state government so the supreme court said that this matter should be remanded to the assessing officer for the limited purpose of assessee being producing before the assessing officer within 4 weeks the certificate of a chartered accountant showing that the electricity duty payable has been adjusted with the amount receivable and the assessing officer has to pass the order accordingly as per law so friends in this case the assessee has to go through a very long litigation just because of the reason that it has not actually paid the amount it has adjusted the amount at the face the case seems to be very simple that it should be a constructive payment but the assessing officer took a different view due to which this matter traveled up to the supreme court in this case if the situation had would have been different like that that the assessee has received the amount from the state government and then it has paid the electricity duty so the assessee should not have gone into the long drawn litigation but at the end the assessee got the relief at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is gujarat urja vikas nigam limited versus commissioner of income tax and this case has been reported in 465 itr at page number 798 and the matter has been decided on 12th september 2012 thank you friends